What is good? You already know it's your girl Jess back at it again with another video, y'all. As y'all can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about this man named Brother Polite. Okay, y'all? Let's get into this. This sun is beaming, but you know it's outside. Let me take this little jacket out. Let's get comfortable. Okay, so his name is Brother Polite. He's part of the conscious community. Now, I'm not too familiar with him. I'm, I'm just now learning more about him since this whole incident happened, you know, but from my knowledge, you know, this man has been out in the community telling, you know, black people, we need to stick together. He's not just a big fan of interracial marriages or just interracial relationships, period, you know. So just what came out in the news recently is, is this man was arrested because he sexually assaulted a 14 year old girl not just any 14 year old girl but one of his girlfriend's daughters one this man has like he has quite a few girlfriends and one of his daughter one of their daughters one of these girlfriends daughters he sexually assaulted so this is what happened so the girlfriend he asked the girlfriend if he could take the 14 year old girl to a after party what the hell? Why do you want to take a 14-year-old girl to an after party? So he asked the girlfriend if he could take her to an after party. So when they got there, the club was closed. So then he was like, hey, you know, I'm going to just take you to the hotel. And so they went to the hotel. He gave this girl liquor like she was drunk. And he was putting his finger down her throat to make her throw up. But he also was trying to force her to give him oral sex. So when they got back to the house, the girlfriend noticed that her daughter's mouth was swollen. And that's when, I'm guessing he told her like everything that went down and don't call the police because that's gonna mess up my reputation, you know, like his name. What the hell? So luckily the girlfriend still took her daughter to the hospital, got a rape kit. They did the whole thing. Come to find out they found this man's semen on this 14 year old girl's scarf and sweater you they found semen on this 14 year old girl's scarf and sweater if i was her mother i would be first of all i wouldn't have been her mother because my daughter's not going to no after party period with with just you first of all and not even that we will get into that but the fact of finding that like there's no you can't clean that up there's no cleaning that up there's no cleaning the fact of how the hell else did your semen get on this girl's sweater it's sad it's ridiculous first of all why as a mother did you not go with them to this after party why would he ask you can i take your daughter to an after party that all doesn't sound, I mean, and don't get me wrong, it's a lot of, there's a lot of boyfriends. Well, I, I, don't, I can't just say that there's a lot of boyfriends. I know it's a lot of men out here who are stepdads and who actually take on that fatherly role for kids and actually are that, you know, is the father. So maybe if it was in that kind of light, and he like, hey, I'm just going to take her to this and there's other celebrities and stuff, you know, he just trying to show her something at 14. Maybe, I don't know. I still would be like, let's go. Let's, why why but not even that as the why is this man not want his girl to come with them like why and the sad part it out it's a couple sad points that i just cannot stand because first of all you mean to tell me this man brother polite he ain't a, a brother he got the nerve to have the name brother polite you mean to tell me this man has multiple girlfriends and none of them sufficed you mean to tell me none of those was was enough for you that you actually had to mess with the girlfriend's daughter who's 14 years old? You you that obsessed with women like that? Disgusting. And on top of that, it's a lot of men who are just not taking on the fact that he's having these allegations. Like they they're still behind him, you know? They still don't really want to believe that that happen or let's wait to the court days which is sad because any grown man who's 
getting caught up with any child, it should be like, oh, hell no, nah, nigga, something's wrong with you. That's mess. That's sick. You should never have anything like that coming out. Why? So another guy, Sonetta, called him trying to do like a little interview with him. And um, he really wasn't saying anything. But the fact of he has, you know, he's about to be going to court for all of this. And, you know, he don't want to say too much because, you know, his attorneys, they're working hard on his case. So you mean to tell me you couldn't just say, hey, yeah, I didn't do it. The public got me messed up. Somebody's lying on me. I didn't do it. You, He didn't say none of that. He just said, but I'm not a weirdo. And if somebody, if I say something about somebody, I'm wrong. And if somebody says something about me, you know, he, this, like, what? This man it really is not about to come out and say, hey, yeah, I, I did do this at all. I mean, I guess no man's really just not in that position. I'm sure he's just not going to come out and say that. But the fact that the, you didn't even want to be like, hey, I'm not going to do it. I didn't do it. Oh, my goodness. Sick. It's sad. And as for the mother, like, did you not see any signs? Did you not have any signs of this man doing certain things that just didn't seem right when it comes to this little girl? Or was he real? Like, did you, for any of this to go down, you couldn't help prevent this? Because now this 14-year-old girl has to live with this for the rest of her life. It's not going anywhere. She's going to always feel, however that made her feel, she's going to always feel that. And the fact that her mother didn't protect her from this like that's as a mother i will i i would never want my child to be in no situation like that i would never feel like my child's helpless and i'm not there to help her it's sad so this happened out in february now i guess they're going to be going to court to see what's going on but the dna came back the semen was yours brother polite it <laughs> How else? Oh, and that's exactly what he said to Sonetta. He said, I'm always out, though. Like, they saying this about me, but I'm always free. Like, what you trying to say? You not getting caught up? Like, because you, you, you bailed out, okay? So what you trying to say? You just not getting caught from this? You mean to tell me all these grown women you have as girlfriends, you can just have sex with them and that be enough that you had to go to a kid, a child, and mess her life up because of whatever nasty ness you have in your head that you want to do and you taking it out on her you wasn't thinking about nobody but you brother polite not the community <laughs> and then um i'm guessing one of his because i'm still learning about this man um that's the one of the people he follow is this man named um oh what's his name it, uh, it just passed me excuse me uh doctor something it's gonna i'm gonna put on the thing if i why I can't remember this? It's going to come to me later. Come to find out this man, Dr. York, excuse me, follows this man, Dr. York. This man is, a, is same thing with him. He's, he's in jail right now because of child molestation. You molesting these little ass kids, yet y'all want to call yourselves doctors and brother polites and all this kind of stuff. There is, one is sad because we, this is just disgusting. The fact that these grown men are preying on these kids, it, and, it, and it's sad because it's so often that these grown men and women prey on these innocent little girls and little boys because of their nasty ass minds or whatever they have in their head that they just want to fulfill. Disgusting. Whew, yeah, that this whole story just, it messed me up. It made me so mad, like the fact that your DNA came back and it was yours on this girl's scarf and semen. The fact that you kept making this girl throw up. The fact that she came home with a swollen mouth. The fact that you just did this to this little girl. Then goes on live with a damn red bottom hat and with his shades on thinking he just cool. Talking about a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing about this case. That's what we want to hear. We want to know why the hell your semen on this girl's scarf and, and sweater. Like, tell us about that. We don't want to know about anything else until you clear that up. How about that? The heck? And y'all over here allowing this. Like, that's what we need to, people should be doing. Uh, yeah, don't say nothing until you tell us what's going on with this whole case. In the community, my... Mm. So yeah, that is, I'm, I'm still going to be looking into this guy, Brother Polite, 
and more on him and his story but that right there oh no that's a mm -mm, that's a no bueno they need to take your ass to jail put you under the jail because you knew you're a grown man and you knew exactly what you want to do and you did it point blank period and it's disgusting but yeah y'all that was my just how i felt about this whole thing it's sad because rape is not nothing new especially in this generation it's it's grandmothers who are still holding certain secrets from uncles or or grant or anybody in their family who's touched them or not even in the family girlfriends boyfriends who then came around and who's touched them and has never been able to tell a mother or father or have an outlet to speak and somebody be like hey this ain't right and our whole community know that rape is not right. No, we like to sweep it under the rug. We like to not talk about it as much. We just like to see what go, what happens. It dies down after that. And that's not right because you're messing up these people's lives. You're messing up these kids' lives. They have to grow older and deal with this, this feeling. And then when they have kids, they have to deal with that again. all over again. Their kids have to deal with what's what happened to them when they was a young age. And hopefully, don't put their kids in that same position or predicament. That's been stories out. Sad. But yes, that is. Y'all already know Sugar Just, man. That's just how I feel about this whole brother polite. I guess we're going to be seeing what happens as the court goes on, what happens to him, sentencing and everything like that. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe if y'all like this video, man. And stay tuned for my next video. And y'all already know I'm out.